Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Webdo. In this video, we will learn about the one of the important concept in the that has been introduced in Angle 16 or something like that. So that is nothing but direct to composition API. So what is this direct to composition API? We have learned about the different types of directives like attribute directives, structural directives. These are all the things we have learned it. And what about this direct to composition API? So these Angular directives offers you a great way to encapsulate the reusable behavior. So that means the directives we can apply, uh, directives can apply attributes, CSS classes and event listeners to an element. So this one is already we know it. So when you apply directive to an element means it will apply the attribute CS class and, and also the event listeners also we can apply it. What this directive composition API will do is this directive composition API lets you apply the directives to a component host element. So that means if you want to apply a directives to a component host element, then this directive composition API will try to apply within the component TypeScript class. So I will try to tell you this example, how to do it. For example, let's say that we are having one component. Okay, let's I will try to create a component. So ng gc, let's say that widget component. I'm having one component, let's say widget component. <coughs> so let it take some time to create, let it create. So here we are having widget component.ts file. So let's try to open this widget.component.ts file. Let's say that here we are having this component, right? So now what I want to do it is I will apply this app.component.html. Okay. So now here if I try to use this one, so here directly I can use this app hyphen widget like this I can use it and we need to import it in the app component.ts. So here I will try to import the widget component. So fine. Now if you try to see the output here, we will be able to see the app, the widget works. So here the output we are able to see. For example, let's say that I am trying to create a directive that is nothing but ng g d color directive. Okay, let's assume that color it will apply the color something like that. So let it apply, let it create. So now the color directive has been created. Let's open this color directive color.directive.ts. So this one is a directive, and what I will try to do is I will try to take the renderer is equal to I will inject this one as this one is a standalone. We can inject it and I will try to explain you those things also. So renderer 2. Okay, so render to and also we can uh, inject the host element also host element is equal to inject. We can also inject it through the constructor also. It's not a problem. So inject and that one is nothing but element ref element ref dot native element. Okay, so to which the element has to which this directory will be applied. So that element we will be able to get it and I will be writing in the ng on in it and in this ng on in it what I will try to do it is I will apply that this dot renderer sorry this dot renderer dot set style so i will try to use the set style and i will apply it to the host element this dot host element and i will apply color color of let's say um, red okay and i will apply this dot so here the same code i will try to apply this set style this dot host, host element and i will apply a border of one pixel solid black let's assume okay and here i will apply another one something like padding okay padding i will do it something like 8 pixel let's assume that i will be applying 8 pixel now this is the directive now if i want to apply this directive so what we will try to do it so i want to apply this directive to the widget okay so to the widget i want to apply it so how can i do this one so let's go to the app component.ts file so to the app widget component means so here i need to in inject this color directive okay and directly i can go to the app component.html and i can apply this color directive here so that is nothing but what is the directive name for this one so that is nothing but app color now directly i can apply this app color to this one okay so directly i can apply it. now what will happen so here you'll be able to see that widget has been applied and this border is not applying why because so as as the custom component whichever is it by default it is in inline element so what we can do it here in our uh, where is this one widget.component.ts is there right you can go to the css file oh, sorry and here you can apply the host element okay and for this host element you can apply display inline block that's it so now you will be able to see the widget has been applied to this one so fine so now the widget and the border everything is applied so now what i want to do it is so here if I want to use this component app hyphen widget, I want to apply whenever I am using this component, I want to apply this directive. Let's say that another directive is there ng gd background color. 
okay let's say that i am having another directive that is nothing but background color so let's we try to create this directive for this one so i have created another directive that is nothing but background color directive now here in this one also we will be having the same thing as usual so how we will be having the code the same thing i will try to have the code but this time we will have only the background color so here i will apply a background color background color and this one inject should be done okay and here also renderer 2 should be imported and this one also element ref also should be imported that's it so these three things i will remove it and background color i will try to apply the green color why because red red means it will. so now i want to apply this app background color also to the same widget element so now what i can do it let's go to the app component.ts file and here again i need to import this background color directive and now if i want to mention this one means so here i need to mention something like app background color that's it now you'll be able to see a background color here so fine so whenever i am using this component so i need to copy these two directives and also i need to import these two directives in that particular component wherever i'm using so now the host now in this in this place in this situation or in this requirement the direct to composition api will place a crucial role so we will place an important role here so instead of using it like this so there is no need to use it like this so whenever you want to use this component so automatically these two directives should be applied so that there is no need to import also here so for, in order to do this this one so directly we can apply this one in the component itself only so how can i apply this one so we should not use the imports we should use the host directives okay so if you try to use the host directives automatically the directives instance will be created at the compile time only so now here i can use the color directive and also i can use the background color directive also that's it so now if you try to see the output the same output we will be able to see now i am trying to use the same app widget directly and automatic i am not importing anything also here only the widget component is imported and here in this widget component.ts i am applying the host directives automatically the output we are able to see so now wherever you use this app component.ts file so app component this app iphone widget.ts file so automatically wherever you try to use this one automatically the two directives will be applied simultaneously so this is the benefit of this directive composition api so this is the main main advantage of this one so that means automatically when you try to apply to this one automatically whatever the where is that widget component yeah so whenever you use the source directives, whenever you import this one means then you need to mention for that one. But whenever you import this one, whenever you use this host directives, those we should add only the directives automatically the multiple directors which we have applied to this one automatically it will be applied to the custom component itself wherever you use it. So this is the benefit of the directive composition API. Now if you want to send an input data or something like that means how we can do it. So let's try to, I will try to explain you in the next video. Hope you understood about this benefit of the directive composition API. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.